Good morning. We're at the Art Institute of Chicago checking out the Monet exhibition. All the Monets under one roof. You don't have to go through this scavenger hunt, if you will, to find them in this lovely institution. Gloria Room is right behind me because you've taken it a step further with these paintings. So I look at this painting, and for me, it's vacation mode, fishing uh, village. That's it, that's all I see. But you guys have used technology to show us what else Monet had in mind for this painting. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And we've got the monitors and we're showing the x-ray mm -hmm. and the transmitted light mm -hmm. and everything that we've used to kind of see beneath the surface. And what we've discovered is that this painting, which looks so straightforward, is actually not just so straightforward. It includes these tourists that you Look see. At that. It includes people that were there, but then he decided to scrape them off and change the the meaning of the painting. So what begins as more of a leisure class, these are tourists visiting, he adds the fisherman and the boat over the sand when he decides that this is no longer gonna be about leisure, now it's gonna be about the people that work here. Is this something you do with a lot of works of art that you have here? We've been taking on our Impressionist works mm -hmm. and we've been putting them online because we think this is so exciting because yeah. people think of Impressionism as a la prima, like they're just like painting what they see. Yeah. And it's not that at all. I mean, Monet goes back in the studio and he thinks about what he wants for his final composition. Right, tell me a little bit about this exhibition. So this exhibition is a wonderful way of putting our collection, which was begun, the people that began collecting in the 1890s, with the collections in Chicagoland. So it's 33 works from the Art Institute and 33 from private collectors. And they, they work in dialogue, and we we're just so excited to see how paintings that we've never seen before and then paintings that we all know so well talk to each other. I love it. How have you cons how have you had to redo this exhibition, which was postponed because of COVID, to make it kind of COVID friendly? Well, fortunately, we were in COVID safe. I shouldn't say friendly. <laughs> well, go well, fortunately, we were in construction mm -hmm. when we shut down, and so we were able to build the walls a little bit further out. Mm -hmm. We planned that we would just put more space between the paintings, so we don't have benches, and so the physical distancing became really easy to control. You have to wear a face covering when you come here. You wear a face covering and, and people, because the paintings are so far apart, it's kind of a, a natural mm -hmm. physical distancing. Mm -hmm. which uh, And so I don't think it really feels like a COVID exhibition. I think it feels like a Monet exhibition. Absolutely. To see all the Monets together kind of shows you the range of this painter because at the same time you're showing me earlier caricatures that he made at 15. So Monet was not just about the lilies and the wheat stacks and so on. Oh, a much, mm -hmm. much more. He has a long career and he's constantly changing. He's constantly evolving. Yeah. That's wonderful. Art Institute is open every day. Uh, except for Tuesday and Wednesday, mm -hmm. open from 10 to 6, and members can come in an hour early. That's true, to, to tour it. And of course, because of what's going on, they are recommending that you call ahead of time and buy a ticket. You can purchase it online, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you were talking about these being online, do you have content online, too, of the exhibitions? Yes, yes. we have these mon the monitor that you're seeing, and we have the immersive projection online and I think we even have a yeah we have a, a little tour kind of a virtual tour and Monet has it been ex extended until June 14th that's wonderful so come check it out it's a wonderful day to spend with the family and of course our children learn about Monet so good time to expose them to art have a great day everybody see you tomorrow